gonna be so cool. Watch out for the poison oak. It's a man's job. Poison oak is everywhere. He's just trying to warm up in the sun. This week, we leave the Owens Valley and the Eastern Sierras and travel west to the state's central coast. Everywhere we look, we see evidence of the rocks and ocean crust that have been churned and piled up along the continent's edge, gifting California its diverse landscapes, climate zones, and life forms. We pass through a 400 mile long and 50 mile wide trough called the Central Valley that supplies one quarter of our country's food. And finally, we cross the transverse range and drop into the cooling, moist air of the Pacific Coast, where we spend three perfect days exploring the beauty of the California coastline. Morro Bay Campground is directly across the road from the bay where you can view Morro Bay's famous landmark, Morro Rock, a volcanic plug home to peregrine falcons. Also nearby is the Heron and Cormorant Rookery. On windy afternoons, which is pretty much every afternoon, you can watch kiteboarders skimming along the water. John just asked me where we're going today. Well, we are in Morro Bay and we haven't been here since maybe, I don't know, forever. Uh, a girlfriend was supposed to be here with us, but her dog was ill, so she stayed home. But she did send me some tips on places to go and things to do. And so I put it out on a Google map and we're gonna go do those. They're north of Morro Bay. But for now, um, we gotta just uh, undo everything. Ugh. It was cold here. Well, actually, <laughs> these magnets are awful strong. <laughs> Um, 44 degrees last night. Uh, I checked my sensor push that's underneath the car, which you know I, I keep it in a little box underneath the van to see what the outside temperature is. It actually feels colder though than yesterday up in the mountains uh, above Lone Pine, which was also 44 degree low, but it feels much colder here because of it, because it's wetter here. And we're going to uh, leave the bikes. People always ask, what do you do with your bikes when you, you know, go places or... Uh, so we're gonna lock the bikes up here in the campground. It's, you have to be a camper to stay here. And we'll just lock them up to each other, cover them up with our cover so people can't, you know, see necessarily that they are electric bikes. And we feel fine with that. They're not, rad bikes are not as nearly as expensive as good ones, so. Um, you just take your chances. Are we going by that bakery? Yes, we're gonna go. Yeah, we're gonna go to the bakery, the glass blowing place. Uh, hopefully, see lots of birds. Well, there's a rookery here, a heron rookery, and it's gonna be beautiful. We really lucked out with the weather. Today is the 27th. Somebody asked me to tell them, you know, what date it was when we we're at different places. It's April 27th. Okay, Mr. Lazy Bones, let's make the bed.
car. Well, watch out for poison oak here, guys. Poison oak everywhere. Wear long pants. We're going to Salmon Falls straight ahead. gonna be so cool. I don't keep a bucket list, but if I did, seeing the elephant seals would be on that list. April and May are the months the females and juveniles come to molt their skin, which takes about a month. Males develop their enlarged noses when they reach puberty at about five years old, and it will be fully developed by eight or nine. Adult males arrive in late November. Birthing and breeding takes place between December and March, with most females returning in January and giving birth within two days of their arrival. I'll add a link to the elephant seal webcam in the description box below this video where you can watch the animals in real time. The website also has lots of information that may be useful if you're planning a visit.
elephant seals on the beaches all the way down. December to March, birthing and breeding. April, August, molting. September, November, fall haul out. Too young to take part in the breeding season, haul out to rest in the fall. Huh. Because we have a state park pass, we decided to stop in at San Simeon State Park for some lunch and a walk on the pier. A melted blubber from the whales hunted offshore. Oh my gosh, and this 200 gallon vat. That's big. Turn left onto Old Creamery Road. Harmony, population 12, is a two and a half acre historic town home to the former Harmony Valley Creamery, a dairy cooperative that closed in 1955. It now houses a pottery and glass blowing establishment, an ice cream truck that only operates on weekends, and a unique wedding chapel. <laughs> the holy cow, is that what they call it? Bad news is they don't sell ice cream except on weekends. Okay, what is this? Oh, I think it's for like the bride to get ready. You can rent the whole town. Here's the chapel. Is this the chapel? <laughs> this is the chapel. Oh yeah. This is dangerous territory for John. And to finish off a full day of sightseeing, we stopped at the town of Cayucos and the Brown Butter Cookie Company. Yeah, right there on the edge. That's a big one. Maybe one day they had a car from 
John got six oatmeal raisin. No gators. <laughs> I'm making uh, some uh, little soup with some rice pilaf inside, but I wanted to show you what I got today. This, this is not for the van. I got it, but I'm going to serve John his dinner in this. We went to Harmony, cute little spot. And they have a they sell pottery there and glass. And I got two bowls for home. I just thought they were beautiful. Very nice. Perfect for soup. Six miles southwest of Morro Bay is Montana de Oro State Park, which means mountain of gold. Not that kind of gold, but the gold of California's state flower, the California poppy. With 8,000 acres and seven miles of shoreline, the park has something for everyone. Hiking, mountain biking, beach combing. We spent most of the day exploring the Bluff Trail. Oh, there it is, Bluff Trail, 2.1 miles to the end of the trail. Okay. An ocean, a cave. A dream that no one could save A shelter A whole act A light that died with the night You and I We got our differences Check out the tide pools Yeah I thought we drive home we decided to stop at Gaviota State Beach to check out the uh, campground and the beach area and to make some breakfast. Now grab my head. 